what's up? What's up? What's happening? So what would you just tell him? Uh, well, you don't have to tell everybody. We, you know, you were just uh, talking about Robert Easter. Uh, um, you know, I've been I've been in the game quite a long time now. You know, I can I can honestly say I'm a I'm a vet a vet boxer right now, and um, I'm still young and I'm still learning. But it was just some things that that I seen and um, off of my experience that I uh, I share with him to help him because you know. Um, Everybody's not blessed with the talent that he got, you know, and, and you really got to use all everything that you have. You know, he got he got the he got the IQ of a, a higher IQ of of a, of a boxer, you know, um, that everybody don't have. You know, he, he got the speed that God blessed him with. He got the power in both hands, you know, and um, you really just got to use everything you got. You know, um, sometimes sometimes we get comfortable, you know, and uh, we form bad habits. And to break those bad habits, to break those bad habits, you gotta work on that inside the gym while you're working. You cannot, you cannot just uh, say you're gonna change something and go in a fight and then try to change it. That day, you really gotta work on it. It's it. Preparation is everything. And um, you know, um, he's still learning, and um, he, he'll definitely be a world champion here. So, uh, right now, um, this is my first time meeting you, uh, and. If you listen to the media, if you listen to the critics, if you listen to the haters, they'll say this and that. But I don't, I don't get that. I mean, I get that you're smart. I get that you're a businessman. Who is the real Adrian Broner? Uh, Adrian Broner is Adrian Broner, man. You know, um, uh, I can say that uh, I, I have matured, you know, uh, these past years. You know, um, you know, this half of my career. You know, I'm more focused on um, business. You know, I'm gonna be the AB that's about business and about boxing. You know, other than about bullshit. <laughs> right, right. No, you know, uh, you know, I'm still me. You know, uh, at all my press conferences, it's, it's not a, it's not a gimmick. It's not a joke. It's uh, right. it's not scripted. Um, I'm just being myself, and um, you know, the people, a lot of people respect it. And you got some who don't like it, who think you got people who think that I'm I'm being too cocky, but um, you know I'm just very confident in my work, and um, it's nothing it's nothing wrong with being a confident young man. Right now, after you uh, left the press conference, uh, Floyd had a lot to say about I know. you know the fact that you you, you said fuck TM you know, uh, TMT. Yeah, I bet. You know, and I I, I get why you said that. Um, he, he, he said that, you know, when you, when you fell short to Madonna and all that, he was a, your, his show, you cried on his shoulder. How do you feel about that, Steve? Um, shit, uh, if, if, if anybody, if anybody in the boxing world, you know, um, who, who's accomplished all um, I accomplished and, and come to face defeat, at a young age, and, and to look up to someone like Floyd Mayweather, you know, um, why not go to somebody for for advice? You know, um, you know, um, he he's one of my mentors. Yeah, he's somebody that I look up look up to. He's somebody that uh, uh, I look at, and, I, and sometimes I look to for advice. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know, um, when I lost to Madonna, you know, I was but her. You know, um, I, I was. It was my first loss, and. Um, you know, he he gave me some strong words. You know, um, not only as a boxer, but a, 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 as an individual, as a as a boxer, as a little brother, and um, I respected him. It is what it is.